Um, I'm really pleased to have an opportunity to work with uh, uh, Lincoln University. Uh, the students there in the Natural Sciences Department, obviously something that's very close to my heart, and also the media students too, because the media students, well at least some of them, are interested in communicating the enthusiasm and passion of those in the Natural Sciences Department when it comes to protecting uh, the, you know, the, the natural world. So I see uh, you know, a, a, a cohesion between those two things. I never imagined myself as a visiting professor. I don't think I look like a visiting professor at all. I'm lacking the spectacles and the tweeds and the moustache or whatever professors used to look like in those old stereotypes. Um, but I'm incredibly flattered. Um, it's also a, a good opportunity, a challenge if you like, for me to you know, find a means of communicating what I want to to younger people. And I think that very often it's easy for me to communicate with people who, you know, I share an age and a passion and a concern with. But in this case, I'm trying to nurture or stimulate that. So it needs to come from somewhere else. So it's something that I, I like to do, and I always enjoy my visits greatly. I'm kept busy because I like to be busy. The last thing I want is too much time off at lunch. So there's always something to do. And my last visit was particularly heartening. I met two groups of students who were making films about the natural world, and they were both excellent. They were really 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 good one had a cultural interest in uh, in some swans um that were part and parcel of the university uh, community and the other was about wolves and large predator reintroduction and uh, and that had been really well thought through they traveled all around the uk meeting exactly the right people it was good stuff and i like that i like to see young people doing good stuff because young people have got the energy they should have the ambition to go with it and if they've got an alarm clock they get up and get on with it anyway today a group of young people have got up and got on with it, with having set their alarm clock, and they've come down here to the Spring Watch set, where it's a pleasure to welcome them on site to see the shambles um, that is my life, um, or at least part of my life. Um, we have a, an enormous uh, amount of talent here, actually, with myself excluded, um, in terms of the, the team that puts this programme together. It's very intense, it's done on a daily basis, so that's 60 minutes of live TV with animals on a daily basis. There's very little we can do in advance of that. Some films are made, but not too many. Um, so it can be a sort of a, a cauldron of people trying to pull all of their skills, all of their efforts and endeavours and ambitions together to make the programme work and my job at the end of it is to focus all of that effort through the lens and out to the viewers. This program is not about me, it's not about Michaela, it's not about us, it's about everyone and our job is to take everything that they provide us with to filter that make it work and, and give it to our audience so it's something that I do with a tremendous sense of responsibility. I don't want to let any of that team down. They've been up all night, they've been out in the rain, they've been working hard trying to find a nest or put a camera on it, or they've been researching trying to find some lunatic little bit of information that I've requested that I probably won't have time to talk about. Um, so, you know, it really is, a, a, I think, a quite a serious duty to do my best to, to represent that. Um, does it work? Well, the programme still seems to have viewers, which is good because we're all still employed. Um, so, uh, you know, somewhere between um, two and, and three million people by the time you count, the, you know, the uh, iPlayer and what we call the consolidated figures come together, which is, which is good. Um, but it's great that you've been able to come down um, and, and see what we do, because I sincerely hope that at some stage in the future, some of you might be actually working here, not visiting, sitting around, having a free lunch, hanging around in the studio and having a look at the birds and mulling it over a Mars bar or whatever you're doing, but actually doing some work here because there's obviously a constant need to recruit young, ambitious, energetic young people. So please do come and follow in our footsteps and I hope to see you uh, again fairly soon at the university. And by then I would have grown a moustache, got some tweeds and, and got some horn rim glasses and I'll be in black and white like those professors of old.